Hi, Scorpio family, it's Al. I'm taking a little break in between personals today and getting a reading out to you guys. I'll be back a little bit later to get another message as always. I love you. Um, <laughs> I had to take a little sick day yesterday. Um, we're okay, feeling better, but uh, we had like a little stomach thing going on around the house, so feeling much better. But as promised, um, I have been putting out Scorpio readings through Scorpio season because this is your season and I love you guys. And this is a Scorpio channel, basically. So this is my birthday gift to you guys, getting out as many collective messages as possible for your birthday, for your birthday season. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If your birthday was yesterday, happy fucking belated birthday. <laughs> if your birthday is this week, happy birthday. I love you guys. So, um, a couple of announcements. Uh, I have um, Mr. Rosen, Rosendez. I'm not sure how to pronounce your first name, um, but it starts with an E, Rosendez. Um, and then John. You paid for a same day reading. Um, and I, I didn't write down your last name. I'm sorry, but you know who you are. Uh, you did it yesterday. And uh, I cannot get a same day reading out to you because I don't have an, I don't, you didn't send me an email. So both of you guys need to send me my email. Um, you made a payment, but you didn't send an email. So if you look in the description box below, my email address is also in the description box. So you can email me your questions for the reading. So I actually have the email address to send the reading back to you as well, guys, okay? Otherwise, I would have already just done a personal, if you didn't have questions, a general reading and send it to you. But I'm waiting on you to get this sent to you guys, okay? Also, so John and Mr. Resendez, please send me an email with your questions ASAP so I can get your reading to you. Um, guys, I am still running the special through the weekend. It is a great deal. Uh, it's $10 off. A lot of you have been taking advantage of it and um, I appreciate anybody that has been showing love and support uh, by doing so. We appreciate you guys. Um, Personals are, tw are uh, 30, they're normally 40 for 20 minutes. And then same day are 50, they're normally 60 for 20 minutes. So take advantage of it while you can. Um, Venmo, Cash App uh, is in the description box below. My email address where to send the questions is in the description box below. So make a payment and then send me an email. Um, yeah, and to those of you, <clears throat> that have um, made donations to you. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Uh, me and my family have been through it this past year. I, if you follow me, you know I've been through chemotherapy, surgeries, <laughs> breaks from work, stuff like that. So um, any donations have been very much appreciated and we love you guys so, so much. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and these are free readings, so feel free to donate if you'd like as well. Um, feel free to donate if you'd like to <laughs> um, contribute to our birthday weekend. Uh, my daughter wasn't actually with me on my birthday weekend or the week last weekend. She had to be, she was with her dad, so we didn't get to, to get together and have birthday cake and celebrate together. So uh, hopefully we're trying to get together some money to do something fun. If not tomorrow, Sunday for a little while. So if you'd like to donate, we'd appreciate it. All right, moving into the reading, guys. So all that good stuff, all that information in the description box below. So let's see what's going on. We're going to start the reading with a mindset hack just because I feel like it's a great way to start a reading. It just It's a, a perception shift. Every single one of us have something about the way that we think, the way that we do things in life that we can change. So 
Let's go ahead and see what's going on with my lovely Scorpio family, spirit angels, ancestors, guides. Please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, block any negative energy being sent our way into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. We don't know. We're just trying to maybe just drive out of town for a day. Something easy. We'll see, though. Um, we might not be able to go very far. I've been pretty busy. Uh, but, you know, anywho. Uh, open for suggestions, though, in North Carolina. Self-care. If, if you aren't feeling awesome, chances are some... Blah, 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 blah. Let me start over. If you aren't feeling awesome, chances are some form of self-care is needed. Self-care is not just a trendy topic. It's the foundation of a healthy mindset. When we have a solid self-care routine, it's like having a force field around you where things that might have otherwise bothered you bounce right off. It is the nourishment that will have your mindset flourishing. Incorporate at least one self-care item in the morning and one in the evening this week. There are endless options, but exercise, being creative, taking a bath are all great choices. Hey, even affirming things, affirmations, meditation, self-care, right? Um, the power po of positivity is a beautiful thing. So if you want to, to, to sprinkle, I said to shrinkle, what? I hate reading out loud, y'all, but I really like these messages. If you want to sprinkle in self-care throughout your day, try saying no or taking a break when needed. You know, basically, you know, doing little things to take care of yourself. Don't overextend yourself. Don't overwork yourself. Work smarter, not harder, okay? As long as you're taking action to improve your mental, physical, and emotional well-being, it will go a long way while setting a mindset for massive success, okay? I love it. Love it, love it. All right, let me take a sip of the tea. Before we get into the tea, mm, it's been interesting, my friends. This Scorpio season has definitely been interesting. <laughs> a lot going on with my babies. All right. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, what's going on with Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising. What's going on with my Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising. Oh, we keep getting it. Shit's about to hit the fan. I've never loved anyone like I see myself loving you. Somebody is losing it. Exciting news, Scorpio. Oh my goodness. I feel like we should get out the romance oracle on this note, okay? I still check up on you on social, social media. Um, and somebody's also not blind to something that was going on in regards to a situation. Maybe they were in the past. It could have to do with manipulation. Not on your end, on someone's end in the situation. All right, so let's do Romance Oracle really quick. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So some of you that want to be like this in situations and you really want it to work out, let go a little bit, right? Just let it flow. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I'm telling you, somebody is going to surprise you here in a situation. They're going to say, man, Scorpio, I fucking, I don't, I've never felt this way about anybody. Maybe this fast or like this. Exciting news. Something exciting is about to happen in regards to this connection. I feel like this is going to be more of a love read, but we'll see what's going on. Any message that comes out needs to come out, right? So pay attention to the red flags in certain situations. There are signs cautioning you. All right. So in this situation, if you are seeing some red flags, give your relationship a chance for some of you that are not single. 
and that have been having issues that wanted to pop out too. So that could be in regards to paying attention to red flags. If you're connected, pay attention to the red flags. There could be things going on right now. Um, you know, you don't want to ignore, right? Maybe, uh, because it's saying give your relationship a chance too. So let's see what's going on. One more. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced, being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right, so some of you might have different religious or spiritual beliefs and then flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Get in this fun, flirtatious energy. Let go of control issues. Don't ignore the red flags, though, when you see them, my loves, okay? When you see them, see them. Don't pretend like that shit's not there, because then later on you're like, man, why did I do that, right? I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, and I just did it anyway, right? I've been there. Ah, more than I'd like to, to admit, so. <laughs> I learned to trust the red flags, though, usually. Right? Or like kind of mm, get my Scorpio investigation on and figure out what in the fuck is really going on. And then pay attention to the red flags. You know what I'm saying? I pay attention to what I find out. So, you know, because for some of us, I feel like we do get a bit paranoid because that's just in our nature not to trust. But usually when that's showing up, there's a reason. There's something maybe you don't want to admit to yourself. Okay some of you in a situation all right someone is dangerous mental issues they're able to mask it very well oh my god this was going so good why all right i mean hey there's somebody in a situation right now now i am getting like an outsider vibe too so it could be an ex it could be a family member it could be somebody somebody's got some mental issues here um they're able to mask them very well okay but their mental issues can make them dangerous now if it's not in a physical way it's just dangerous to to your energy to your life well-being right there's a whole lot of sexual atten sexual tension or sexual attention. Some of you might be getting a lot of sexual attention from somebody right now. Um, somebody also is wishing they had not lost their chance with you. This could be somebody that does feel some sexual tension with you right now. All right. What other message do we have for Scorpio? I'm constantly undressing you with my eyes. Some of you have somebody that watches you and that's exactly what they're doing when they're watching you. They watch you walk by and it's like, mm-hmm. I kind of get like a little perverted neighbor or something weird with that. Your angels are currently to wreaking total havoc in a karmic's life mm, right now. Excuse me. Damn. All right. Total havoc is what it said to you. So something is going on with some type of karmic energy that had it out for you, Scorpio. Not that we're supposed to get gratification in that, but there might be some reason your angels currently want you to know maybe it's a warning if there's something happening or somebody's blaming you for something uh they're apparently going through karma right now if you've been wondering why somebody's been acting weird or acting a certain way or why is this person freaking the fuck out on me for no reason right something like that scorpio is what i'm getting distracted energy it's like, would you just pay attention to your own life? Get out, just get out of here. Somebody's too distracted with you and your life, right? Feeling sexual tension over here, distracted by you, looking too sexy, maybe, Scorpio. <laughs> I don't know. Who? yeah. Somebody, a ghost, a blast from the past. All right, we've got survival energy and then balance. Okay, in order to survive here, Scorpio, you had to create balance. And for some of you, you had to let go of this stuff from the past, right? Um, 
some of some energies that you dealt with were pretty tricky um created illusions gaslighted the fuck out of you right so that might be some of the energy too like am i being too paranoid in this situation or do i need to be not like ignoring the red flags here is this a red flag here is this the truth here you know is this a little white lie is this a big lie right there's a bit of that going on in your energy i he i feel and i hear um let's see the fox is kind of shady, so somebody could be in your energy or around your energy that is like in survival mode. A little shady because maybe not totally bad, but maybe kind of the person that shit goes down Scorpio, they're going to throw you under the bus just because, right? It's like, you or me? Okay, you go, right? Um, survival. Survival of the fittest. Whatever this energy is, right? So be careful with that, right? Has something to do with it territory energy tricky energy somebody feels like something is their territory their area their possession right there's a tricky energy associated with somebody could feel like somebody is theirs if there's resistance in a situation right now somebody's being very territorial or very funny about something all right um Somebody's communicating something here, making somebody else distant in a situation or distant in a situation. There's a gift, though, coming your way here. Hmm. messages do we have for Scorpio? Karmic cycle of completion, the lovers, the queen of swords. All right, Scorpio, you're just kind of in this energy here uh, and your angels are with it and with you, right? Kind of looking at life like, all right, this is what I'll take. This is what I won't take, right? This is how I live. This is what I do. I get up, I pray, I meditate, I work out. I have like a certain way I live here. This is why I want, I'm living in a way that brings peace to my life. This is a karmic cycle that's changed, a karmic cycle that's changed for you or is changing, bringing a new partner here. This is also the energy of bringing happiness to couples and removing negative energy. So for some of you, they're getting involved in new situations here and we've got negative energy from the past. This is spirit removing the negative energy, the negative bullshit here, putting your foot down some way. Some of you might have to confront somebody or put your foot down and say, hey, you know, respect me, respect my partner, respect the situation, okay? Three of Pentacles, all right? This protects against sorrows, illness, mental force. So, you know, being strong, working together, working with spirit here to remove negative energy. This is protecting against not sad, bad energy, right? Um, this is also protecting against illness because what happens with disease, right? Disease, right? So putting yourself in situations that are positive, that are loving, that aren't negative is the right way. This is changing a cycle, Scorpio. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm looking at this and it's saying someone is smitten with you. I feel like you're about to be really surprised with the way somebody you might feel maybe might not be quite as into you as you are them or vice versa, whatever ever here I do feel like there's this energy of feeling like you're going to be surprised with the way somebody comes towards you soon or starts to come towards you maybe maybe I'm feeling because I just saw the queen of cups energy somebody that's been a little bit more reserved start to emotionally kind of um open up more messages do we have for Scorpio all right two wanted to come out two of cups energy page of wands oh yeah oh yeah 
For some of you, um, we've got Cancer, Aries, Taurus energy, and Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, and Cancer. Um, more Cancer again, but the energy of a soulmate connection partnership coming together here. Um, This could be, I'm feeling like with the Page of Wands and the Two of Cups too, like sexting, dirty messages, like the honeymoon stage of getting together. Like this is fun, this is new. Um, working together to make it successful, right? Like I enjoy this, I enjoy being with you. This is what we're doing. I'm I'm meeting you here. You're meeting me like at the same place. We're doing this together, right? We both want this. Um, this feels really fucking good, right? <laughs> it feels fun. It feels flirty. It feels very, very um, fun. So I'm going to say Scorpio. I don't know if this is already happening or if this has happened already. There's something about... Um, the eight of pentacles, this could be somebody that you possibly meet in the workplace or there's something, um, hmm. If you're not putting your full potential in here, like working together into it, then you're going to have to wait a little longer, basically, right, to get your, the results that you want. So it's kind of like Scorpios are all in or nothing anyway, but I feel like with this message, Spirit's saying, like, get, go ahead and just get all in. Go all in because this is fun. This is the honeymoon stage. This is when you're supposed to be, like, uh, just absolutely adoring each other here, right? So... Capricorn energy. Um, this does suggest having to create some balance here. We've got Taurus energy with the Hierophant, Capricorn energy, and Virgo. A lot of Earth here. Um, there's commitment on the table. This is symbolizing whether it's one or two people wanting to be, or this is a person that likes to be in a commitment, but there needs to be balance between work, juggling, life, love you know what i'm saying work and love here okay somebody could also be juggling two forms of income as well maybe both of you but there's also this energy of like needing to create a balance here to make it work because there are and it could be both of you i'm getting both there's two people here that are being that are very financially self-sufficient here on their own but are very used to being independent and alone so with this energy i'm feeling here whatever message i'm getting roll with the honeymoon high fun high vibe situation work together right to create balance because this does have potential for something serious okay um one more message in regards to that yeah this is uh this is a yes yes or no is a yes spirit is saying yes go for this energy yes because this is somebody that you've manifested in your life because you've been happy alone and maybe vice versa maybe both of you have found uh, a way to be happy within yourselves alone and so it's like you've manifested each other i love it scorpio something healthy maybe because we've got a karmic cycle of completion, right? So let's see. Let's get the spicy cards out and see what's going on. <laughs> we all want to know, right? All right, so let's do... <laughs> Where's old ass man, right? <laughs> ass man should not be in the picture anymore, okay? Okay. You just get on out of here. All right, so... Scorpio's person's thoughts, emotions, and actions. Thoughts, emotions, and actions. Scorpio, oh my goodness. You've got somebody here that wants to spoil you. Oh my God. All right, so it's like this, they like it when you're submissive. Or there's an energy about you that's submissive or the way that they are with you or they're thinking about it that turns them on. They like it. There's something when they think about you that's 
more submissive that they really like. They see the uh, <laughs> Three of Wands is expansion. Something you don't know though. They've got something they're keeping a secret about something. Hmm. It has to do with money though. It doesn't have to do with another person. Ace of Pentacles. Something they're planning on doing financially. You just don't know. Okay. Or maybe you don't. There's something you don't know about what this person's doing financially. All right. Uh, yeah. So if they're really guarded here, there's some some stuff here. They're kind of. Uh, yeah. I don't know. They they're guarded because of that. All right. Emotions. Emotions for Scorpio's person. Not talking about them. This person is going to surprise you with a gift, though. They feel a certain way already, Scorpio. They're not ready to talk about it, but they're going to surprise you with a gift. Wow. Okay. So with the King of Swords, that's Aquarius, Super Gemini energy as well. That is the energy of here, somebody who's very strategic, right? When they move, very smart, very intelligent. So it's like they're planning something, a gift, a getaway, It's like they know that you're really comfortable and dependent here and they feel like this is going to make this work so they're trying to like do something here i feel like action yeah they want to make you happy the fuck is this tower though why three of pentacles there's a tower energy something about work or somebody something that somebody works with somebody here eight of swords Oh, God. Has there been some kind of situation here? Maybe there's a situation or a past situation with a co-worker that might be kind of getting in the way of something at the moment. I feel like they're not that worried about it. It came out in reverse then. Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody is worried about somebody hearing like about how they're well they're treating you and they didn't get treated well. Yeah, Ace of Cups. There's a different love and desire for you than someone else here in somebody's actions. And there's fear connected to other people finding out about it and somebody getting hurt. Yeah, but Six of Swords are kind of like, well, I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to move this way to calmer waters here with Scorpio. That's my plan of action. All right, so... I hope this message was helpful. Let's do a few tea leaf really quick. What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to love, life, all that good stuff? The most difficult part of a situation is over with the rainbow. Okay, what else? Doing something risky and taking a chance with the tiger. I feel like that's a good thing, right? So taking a risk is going to be working out in your favor. Success assured with good plans and hard work. All right. So don't forget to put in that hard work. And then vacation time right afterwards. So I love it, Scorpio. A little vacation. I'm telling you, I feel like somebody's planning something for you. I love it. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you'd like a personal, that information's in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to donate, that's also in the description box below as well. Bye.